How's it going everybody? This is Bingbox and today we are going to demo Bioshock Infinite. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to start with the Bioshock benchmarking utility. So in order to do this on Steam, you just go here to Bioshock Infinite, right click and launch Bioshock Infinite benchmarking utility. Okay, and then this will pop up right here. So here it says, please choose a graphics quality setting to benchmark. All right, so we are going to do number two because this is Ultra DX11, uh, and it says DX11 only, and it says same as Ultra DX11, but with diffusion depth of field. Okay, so that's probably the highest we can go, so that's what we're going to test this with. And then, after this, we're going to go into the game and show you some more gameplay. So here, we're going to click 2, and then it says, would you like to choose a custom resolution or use your current user settings? So we're going to choose a custom resolution. Uh, number one, 16 by 9. Okay. And the desired resolution that we have for this monitor is 1920 by 1080. Okay. 16 to 9 ratio, 1080p HD. So that is number four. Okay. And ben benchmark will use configuration. So we're going to load this benchmark here. There's no sound for this. Here we go. So just watch the uh, the top left over there and you can see the frames per second as it goes. There is a little bit of stuttering here, I noticed. I did run this earlier. And I'm not sure if VSync is on in this setting. So there does seem to be a little bit of screen flickering, screen tearing. Okay, so this is their proprietary uh, benchmarking utility. So I figured this would give a good indication generally as to how the graphics are going to be on this laptop and how good they are, how well you're going to be able to play on these high settings. Now, I do believe you should be able to play on these high settings, but I haven't tried it yet. We're going to do that in just a minute. The lighting is fantastic on this game, and uh, there's a lot of things moving around, clouds, particles, a lot of things going on. And of course all the characters moving as well. Okay, so if we look here, uh, it says benchmark file save to documents, okay? And would you like to open it now? So let's look at this right here. So here it says uh, average F FPS, sorry, Minimum FPS and max FPS. And then it says a scene name. Okay, so the scene name here is Welcome Center here. And it says 45.02 average FPS. Minimum is 7.36 uh, FPS. And then maximum is 138.39. So that's a pretty big range, but it looks like the average is about 45.02. Okay, scene change, disregard performance in this section, so don't look at that. Town center, so average is 48.86. Minimum is 12.94, and maximum is 114.43. So again, some pretty big ranges. And I do not believe that VSync is turned on, otherwise I think this would be much lower here. Okay, raffle scene. Uh, 45.83, 19.52, and then 183.89 here. And then Monument Island over here, uh, 65.71 was the average here. The lowest was 15.08, and the highest was 84.10. Okay, so benchmark finished, disregard performance. So overall, they say, through this benchmark, is 49.46 was the average 
Lowest was, of course, a 7.36, and the highest was, of course, 183.89. So it looks like we can play this game at about 50 frames per second average. I'm guessing during the fighting scenes, we're probably going to hit around, let's say, 40, 35, maybe. Um, but it looks like we're going to be pretty steady at, at 50 frames per second uh, throughout most of the game, I'm sure. So I'm just going to scroll through this. If you guys want to look through it, that's up to you. Okay, so these are all of the different uh, frames per second. Remember, the first one is the time. The second one is the average frames per second. The third one is the lowest frames per second. And the last one is the highest frames per second. Okay, so just disregard some of these that say disregard performs in this section. Okay, and of course all of this is just the settings here. Okay. So here we are inside the game, and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay outside of the benchmarking utility. Okay, so let's just go into the options first, the graphic options. And we'll just run through this list really, really quickly. So here we have the custom set. You can set it to preset ultra, but we want to change a few things based on our current setup. So anti-aliasing is on. You don't get the whole four times, eight times, 16 times, whatever it just is on. Okay, so texture detail is ultra. Filtering detail. Post-processing is normal. You can also change the alternate. Not quite sure what it does. Um, but let's just keep it on normal. It says it shows all the scenes in the game as I originally intended. So I'm not going to mess with that. Life shafts is on. Now ambient inclusion is an interesting thing that NVIDIA players have had a problem with in the past. Now the graphics driver has been updated many, many times now. So it is much better and it does work with this game. Before it was because this game was developed with the AMD uh, graphics processor. So that's why it had quite a few problems and most people turned off ambient occlusion in game and then turned it on through the graphics utility. Now I'm gonna keep this on high instead of ultra because I've played just a little bit before and I found that the ambient occlusion on this doesn't really make a huge difference between high and ultra but in order to keep a balance between performance and quality we're going to keep it on high because i don't want to lose too many frame rates just because of this ambient inclusion these small shadows uh in between objects i mean it's not a really huge detail to me i like the detail but i definitely wouldn't keep it on normal i would keep it on high you can definitely tell the difference between off low and normal so i'd keep it on high it looks good on high i don't think there's any difference between high and ultra uh, on this system at least so it's going to keep it there Object level details ultra, brightness settings, you know, that's up to you. You can reconfigure that yourself. Lock frame rate, as usual, I like to keep frame rates, uh, the V-Sync on, because I just cannot stand screen tearing, as you guys know from the last couple videos. So we're going to keep that on. This game does get into pretty high frame rates, actually, even on the ultra setting. Uh, I was playing before, and it gets up to the hundreds, very, very high. So... But in order to keep the frame or the screen tearing down, we're going to lock the frame right here. Field of view, you guys can mess with. As you can see, the screen's changing here. It's up to you. I'm going to keep it on the middle setting because that's how the default was. And it doesn't make a huge difference in terms of how far you can see. So I'm just going to keep it in the middle here. Keeping it in the middle will also uh, keep your frame rate down. Well, it'll keep your frame rate up and keep the processing power down so that there's not as much to process and your frame rate will be a little bit better because there's not as much to see. All right, subtitles, everything else, we can just keep on here. You guys can check that out for yourselves. Okay, so we're just gonna walk through here. Just watch the frame rate on the top left. It does change in certain scenes. But right now, we're going through a lot of light. You can see there's a lot of light and a lot of textures here. 
there's some things floating around and it's staying at a solid 60. This is on the ultra setting, folks. Other than the ambient occlusion, which I think is perfectly fine on high, I think this is this is really, really nice. No. Shadows look really, really awesome. And I think personally this is the perfect setting for this game. Did you see the paper this morning? Fair. That's enough of that. Here we're gonna go into the shoe shop. This is the menu that you see in the main menu in order to change your settings. It is a good demonstration of graphical quality. You can see here there's a few things going on, a lot of shadows, the smoke here, and as you can see the frame rate dropped a ton when you go into this room. And as you get closer, it does drop more. As you can see it's at 30 here, and he, all he's doing is brushing his shoes, and there's a little bit of smoke going on there, and there's some shadows here. And it already dropped a ton, this one scene right here. The lighting effects in this particular one area it's just incredible but as you can see it can still handle it we're not in a battle situation right now and everything looks really 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 nice i'll just walk with you guys through this town Look at the detail on this horse here. There's a little bit of choppiness right here on his butt here. I'm not really sure why. Let's go indoors again. With all the ambient lighting and shadows here, sometimes the indoor scenes are even harsher than the outdoor scenes, even during battle, even during shooting. As you can see, the frame rate stayed, everything looks really good. Particles flying in the air, lighting, rays of light coming through here. Let's go upstairs here. You believe me? If I told things you a man this scene. could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. A lot of great shadows. No you can see the dynamic, dynamic no lighting off to the left. The guy's moving. The no, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah. Just looks himself. great. I do notice a little bit of stuttering on this laptop. I'm not sure why. Uh, once you get into these more crowded scenes, it does stutter a little bit, but as you can see, the frame rates are still pretty high. So I'm not really sure what that is, but there is a little bit of stuttering. Sometimes. Not always, though. Okay, so you can see the frame rate is dropping a little bit here. Watch the frames. 33 frames per second. There's a little bit of shadow and uh, and lighting work here. There's some smoke. And at least it does stay above the 30 frames per second, which is really, really nice. Shadows look really great. You can see here. It still stays above a playable 30 frames per second no matter what. So I would suggest these settings that you saw earlier. This is Bing Box. Let me know what other games you guys want to see. And drop a comment down below. Leave a like in the like section. Leave a dislike if you'd like. Subscribe for new videos coming soon. I'm going to try to do some more Let's Plays instead of Let's Demos. And I will see you guys next time.